All views expressed in this video represent my personal opinions. If you happen to disagree with me, that is your right and you are entitled to a unique opinion. Thank you. Well, I can't put it off any longer. Well, I really tried, but it looks like I can no longer put off watching Uncle Grandpa. Every time I go to Cartoon Network, my eyes and ears get completely harassed by one or both of two terrible things. Either Teens Titans Go saying they're my new favorite show, or the cancer-giving voice of Uncle Grandpa begging, pleading me to please watch his show. This video will be a good way to test out my new overlay point system thingy. Here's my enjoyment scale. As you can see, it is very scientific. I will start my first impressions with whatever my expectations are at, and increase or decrease based upon, well, my enjoyment. Whatever I get on the screen by the end of my viewing session will represent my first impression with the show. For Uncle Grandpa, my expectations are already way down in the piss off and die section of my system, so this will be fun. So without further ado, I give you my first impressions with Uncle Grandpa. Holy fuck, this is bad. I'll start with the intro this time because I think it represents the show extraordinarily well. It's bad, like unbelievably bad. It's annoying as all shit, it doesn't inform me at all, it's not even catchy in the slightest, and it is actually hurting me physically. This right here is a recording of my actual unscripted reaction to this intro. <laughs> Uncle Grandpa himself is just one of the most irritating looking and sounding characters I've ever seen, including the flipping fairy dog, and he repeats the same ear grating over and over and over again. Holy shit, this is painful. This is our main character? Oh god. If I can't even get through the intro without abandoning ship, then the thought of continuing this episode fills me with the fear of god. But I must, because YouTube show. Well, onto the show itself. Wow, there is absolutely nothing I can find redeemable in the show. Not one single thing. Let's start with Uncle Grandpa himself. I hate everything about this character. I hate his stupid annoying voice. I hate his stupid little hat. I hate his stupid little ugly face. I hate his stupid concept, and I hate his stupid lazy design. I have never seen a character that has bothered me this much. Not even the modern prick trick starfish is this irritating. I have no clue if Uncle Grandpa was intentionally designed to be this annoying, but if he was, that's more if you design a character or show to be intentionally irritating, then don't be surprised when people find them irritating. No one likes characters like this, they aren't funny in their stupidity, and they are not redeemable in their annoyance. And making the world around them unconditionally like them, despite their constant stream of irritating bullshit, is artificial. Now, you may be asking, why are you spending so much time on one single character, Twitchy? You got an entire show to review, now go do it. Well, I'm spending so much time on discussing the aesthetics and personality of this particular character, because there's nothing to the actual actual show. There's no meat to these bones. This is it. Uncle Grandpa is literally all that there is to Uncle Grandpa. You have no idea how hard it was to write an analysis of the show, mainly because I still have no idea what the fuck I'm watching. Also, because in the less than 30 minute episode, it felt like I was watching some weird montage of a bunch of half-assed ideas thrown together in order to make it fill a 30 minute block. Kinda like the Mad cartoon. Except, the Mad cartoon was sometimes funny. Even if it was kind of a PG ripoff of Robot Chicken. Azeroth Metreon Zindos! Anyway, because of this, the pacing in this show is completely abysmal. There's so many little side stories and skits that it makes it really hard to follow. Alright, let's talk about the art style. Now, let's keep in mind, art is subjective. So let me put it this way. I subjectively absolutely hate everything about this art style. Not really because it's bad, it just makes me so fucking uncomfortable. You like that word? Uncomfortable? Well, that's gonna be our word of the day for this show. If you want an idea for exactly how uncomfortable I'm feeling about this show, uh, Uncle Grandpa has a sheep wife. Here you go, honey. Yeah, he has a sheep costume that he's gonna quote unquote save for later. Maybe later. <laughs> yes, Uncle G looks uncomfortable and acts uncomfortable and just fucking is uncomfortable, but look at this freaking character. It's a pizza wearing sunglasses, and its only personality trait is being stupidly over the top cool guy, 90 extreme sports BMX riding, one liner spouting, one dimensional as hell character, and his partner, strong lizard guy. Yeah, this guy's only personality trait is being strong and quiet. Are you fucking kidding me? These are what you chose for protagonists, for main characters, lame as shit, personality-less, TV trope copypastas, and incest the clown for the main act. I mean, I, I really hope I don't need to explain why these characters suck and suck hard. Just, just watch it for yourself and see. Or don't, don't do it, don't, don't watch- Alright, let's move on to music. I don't like it. It's like the intro theme to South Park throwing up on a synthesizer with some circus music sprinkled on top and a hint of LSD. It makes me uncomfortable. 
and a little nauseous. I, and I need to move on. Overall, there isn't much else to say about this particular show. It's basically the mind of a 12-year-old boy, animated with no solid concept, a confused plot. Well, I mean, I guess there has to be a plot to begin with for it to be confused, so there's nothing to it. I wouldn't even recommend this to you if you were stoned off your ass. Don't watch this show. Hey guys, thanks for checking this video out. Uh, sorry it took so long, like an unbelievably, unacceptably a long time to get this video out. Uh, a lot of variables, mostly me getting out of school, having to do college stuff, getting my life ready to do that kind of stuff with jobs and stuff, you know. Also a little bit of uh, an existential breakdown, who cares. Anyway, so I'm going to get these back out to you guys, because I keep seeing myself getting subscribed even though I haven't released a video in forever. and. Uh, Thank you. Uh, any of you guys watching this now? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be definitely making these. I haven't given up on this channel. I don't think I will. So, yeah, I might change a pace, change a different kind of style. I'm thinking skits, you know? John Tron kind of dealio going down. I think that'd be fun. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching this stuff. You can check out this video if you want or whatever. Ciao. Oh, and if you like the show, that's cool, man. I, I'm not trying to fight you. It's an opinion. Bye.